Hey everyone, Alice here and welcome to a pick a card reading where we're going to see how your crush, your love interest, the person who's on your mind, the person whose energy is attached to you, how are they feeling uh, about you right now in the current energy. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I have four groups that you can choose from. These are the images that you can use to choose whatever you're feeling drawn to. You can feel drawn to more than one image here that there could be multiple messages um, in groups for you. Uh, just keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything is going to apply to your situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force it. And of course, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you find it as well. Um, could be when you are meant to find it. Uh, there could be messages meant for you at this time or later or whenever. Okay. All right. So hopefully, uh, you have picked your group and I will see you at your reading. Okay. Group one, welcome. Uh, if you've chosen this couple here, um, then this is your reading. I'm pretty sure they're all twins. Um, I don't think they're, I mean, they can be romantic couples. I don't know. I actually don't know. Um, I think they're twins, but if this is the one that you are drawn to, um, then this will be your reading. I'm not really getting <laughs> much from it other than clean, clean. For some reason, vegetables. I know they're green, but I mean, that's what I get is something about vegetables. Uh, maybe, maybe somebody's like a vegan or a vegetarian or somebody who just likes to eat healthy. I don't know. That's just really weird and specific. Okay. Let's get into your reading. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what is the energy uh, your connection, what's going on, uh, more from your person's point of view, but uh, you could show up in there as well. And then, so it's kind of like the situation, what's going on, and then we'll see um, what their energy is like towards you. How do they feel about you? And we'll clarify and we'll get some spiritual guidance. So that's the plan. what's going on. Whoa. Okay. Queen of Diamonds. What is this? Which way does this go? <laughs> I can't tell which way this goes. Oh, it's this way. Okay. <laughs> hey, so diamonds. A little bit of confusion there. Okay. Just a little. Um, eight of hearts. Two of diamonds. I mean, so far, everything is like in the red, which is good. Four parts. And then we've got oh, King of Clubs. That's okay. Well, it's not. Well, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's just because it's just a person. So, um, hmm. Yeah, Ace, the Ace of Diamonds, um, there's something about what's going on right now in this connection starting over. Um, there's something confusing about that. Um, it could be even conflicting. Um, here for whoever this Queen of Diamonds is. Um, 
this queen of diamonds is somebody who she's well it doesn't have to be a she it's just energy um but somebody who has a good head on her shoulders common sense so whoever this is is like i feel like this is you who might have told this person like hey you know maybe we should just start over or something something about starting over um starting from scratch um, starting from the beginning again here, but it's met with some conflict and confusion. Um, yeah. I don't feel like it's like malicious or anything like that. Like it, it's like it comes from a place of it makes sense. This makes sense. Here, I'm getting like it makes sense. Um, I do feel like you are probably in like a relationship i don't know if it's romantic it probably is romantic but if not like it's it's you're at least you have a relationship with this person where i feel you speak to each other quite often like you text back and forth um maybe every day or like it's like regularly here um there's something about it that's pretty regular yeah, I mean, that's what I'm getting with. The, the Eight of Hearts is, like, there's some sort of established relationship that you have. So it could be a friendship. It could be, a, like, whatever it is, you're pretty close or you've known each other for some time. Or it's, like, an actual relationship or, like, a marriage or something along those lines. But there is communication. There's back and forth communication here. Um, like, there's just some, like... It's not weird that you you guys have a, some sort of relationship. Um, yeah, it's not strange. Um, again, with the Four of Hearts. that's a, the, the Eight of Hearts and the Four of Hearts, like, definitely there's some sort of established relationship that the two of you have. This isn't a new connection. So I would say if that is you, you like, your situation, then this might not be your reading because... There's definite, like, energy here that this is an established relationship of some sort here. Um, whether it's friendship or romantic, like, or platonic. Um, yeah. Be, there, this king of clubs here actually feels quite comfortable in this connection. Which is making me wonder, like... What I'm kind of, I'm confused. I'm confused because I'm used to getting readings that there's something like wrong in the readings. And what I'm getting here with like the connection, the energy of the connection seems quite stable. Um I mean, it can like the king of clubs sometimes they can hide how they feel. Um, cause the king of clubs is like a bro bro type of energy, like, you know, um, where they have this outward image and it can come off as quite masculine, um, quite like not, it's not that they don't share their feelings, but it's. It can be like, all I can describe it is like a bro kind of type of energy. I mean, that can apply to like women or like, you know, it doesn't have to be like a man. It's just somebody who puts like on a front kind of thing. Um, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting like this is like, I'm not getting that they're hiding anything. Like, I'm getting that they're pretty happy or, like, with the connection. Whoever this king of clubs is, they're, you know, they're quite um, comfortable in this connection. Like, I mean, the king of clubs can also be, have a lot of, like, it's like, because the king of clubs is very sociable, too. It can be that, I don't know if they talk to their friends about this connection. 
but they're not like hiding it. Like they're kind of open. See, I'm, I'm confused because like, yeah, it just seems fine. The only, the only sort of like problem, I guess I can see in this energy is that whoever this queen of diamonds is, is kind of like okay like we need to start something over again we have to start from scratch i don't know what that is and there's just a bit of pushback on that okay let's let's see what this person's energy is like towards you let's see how are they feeling how are they feeling towards you I'm just like confused because usually like the readings there's like an issue like a big issue that's pretty clear but I'm not really seeing much of an issue I'm, I'm seeing a relationship where there is communication I don't know if the communication's good or not I just know that like here at the two the two of diamonds just tells me that there is some sort of back and forth communication um, it can be small dog. It doesn't have to be like serious, but okay. Hmm. We will see what's going on. How does this person feel towards you? The hermit. Uh, seven of cups. Hmm. Oh. Oh. See, cuz I don't know what this what the connect like what kind of relationship you have with this person. This can be somebody that you're friends with that you have a pretty close friendship with and this person may have more feelings for you than they're showing. I don't I, the, the Seven of Cups is like fantasy. So I'm like, okay. Uh, three of Wands in reverse. Ace of Swords. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Yeah, oh my gosh. This person... This person fantasizes like, like they have like, uh, you know what I mean? Like sexual dreams about you or something. I don't know. Like that's what that is there. I can put this down here. Okay. So I do feel like, so oh, hold on. Uh, I need to like learn. I can't. I can't interpret while I'm shuffling. I know it makes my readings longer, but I can't help. That's just the way I shuffle. Okay. High priestess in reverse. Okay. So, this person is longing for you. I see. So, this is probably a friend that you're pretty close with who you might not know that they have some, um, that they feel a certain way about you. Now, I don't know, like, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how they feel like because the only cups I see here are the seven of cups and the seven of cups is it's it's, it's fucking illusions so like it's not real so like it's hard to tell what's real or not so I'm not actually I don't actually know how they feel I mean we'll clarify but right now I get attraction I get like sexual desire but I'm not really like I I'm not really getting f deeper than that. Now, I mean, here I see that there there are emotions here. But this is somebody who... How they feel... There is a longing feeling here. 
but I'm, I, it kind of feels sexual here, so they could, like, fantasize, like, what it would be like to be with you. Um, again, I don't, like, they kind of hide things, like, I don't think that, yeah, they, they wouldn't, like, be really open about this, obviously. Well, actually, I wouldn't say obviously. Some people are open about that. This, they're not actually open. Um, they kind of like act dumb about it. Like it, it kind of feels like somebody who would ask, like, so, like, where's group one? Where's group one? Like, like if you were like all like if it was a group of you that were supposed to meet um, for something. Um, they just kind of be trying to ask like, oh, so, so where's group one? Like, are, are they coming or what? Like they try to not be obvious about their sort of wondering like where you are, what are you doing kind of thing here. Um, I kind of want to know what's going on with this hermit and the ace of swords because there's something here that they've been thinking about and they've come to some sort of conclusion about their feelings about you. But like I said, it, their feelings aren't actually showing up here. So let's look a little bit further. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Okay, whatever it is that they've um, come up with here, um, it something it, it does feel like opening pandora's box it, it makes them feel vulnerable yeah yeah it's some like it kind of flips their world upside down here um that wanted to come out as well the hangman in reverse it's a truth that changes their perspective here but i get resistance it's like a truth that it's like once you've opened Pandora's box, you can't close it again. That's what I'm getting here. So this person has been thinking and about their feelings for you and they've come to some sort of realization and they can't close that box now that they've seen it. I'm still like, I'm still getting right now. It's, it's like a sexual attraction. Tell me about this Three of Wands. Yeah, again, it's there's a strong sexual attraction. Very attracted to you. Hmm. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. hurts. They're in pain. Why? Oh, wow. Holy shit, dude. Five of Swords in Reverse, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. Yeah, okay. This person. <laughs> this person wants you really badly. Like, they feel actually kind of bad. They feel guilty for thinking about you in this way. I don't know why. Like, there's just some sort of guilt attached to it. But dude, look, like, King of Wands in Reverse. Like... There's something, I, I, I don't know what it is. It's not telling me. So it's telling me that's probably different for everyone. But there's something that like makes them feel bad about it. Like they can't have like what they want here with you. It hurts their pain. It, it, it hurts them. But they pay all this attention to you. They just like, they want to come towards you very badly. So... 
um, how they're feeling about you right now. Uh, very, very, um, horny. Yeah. It's very, like, jeez. Okay. Um, group one. Let's see, where is this energy heading? I need another deck that I didn't think about beforehand. Oh, <laughs> now I'm grabbing. Cause, um, oh wait, no, I did think, I just didn't open it. Okay. Let's see. Where is this energy heading? In this current energy. Whoa. Ten of swords. Ten of wands in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse, the Fool in reverse, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Swords in reverse. I don't think that they're going to actually do anything. I mean, everybody's got free will, so they can do whatever they want. But what I'm seeing here is somebody who's just kind of ending it here. But even though they try to end it, their mind keeps coming back to it. That's the thing. Like, they're trying, it's like they're trying to end it because almost like they feel like nothing would happen I, or like not that nothing would happen um like they're trying not to care about this here and they're trying to stop this from moving forward here um but it's very difficult for this person um but i do see them trying to end it they could be trying to end it because they feel kind of stupid as well for even thinking about this or feeling this way. I don't know why, why they would, but, um, there must be some sort of reason, but they keep coming back to thinking about you, to feeling about you in that way. So I, I don't really know how successful they are because they keep like even trying to lie to themselves about it here. Yeah, they keep trying to, they might even try to block you here. Yeah, they're so tempted. Look at the devil in reverse. Like, they, they might try not to talk to you or try to, like, put some distance or something or block you or something so they cannot, so try to not be tempted by you here. Um, but they're kind of like, they're kind of just like, they might even lie to you. They might even make up some sort of excuse and tell you like hey like i i got i'm busy i gotta do something or whatever like so like they're i feel like they're trying to not come towards you because it's too overwhelming for them this how they're feeling it's too much all right let's see spiritual guidance for you You know, I'm drawn to all this green. I'm drawn to the green here and the green here. It just reminds me of uh, this. But... Okay, spiritual guidance. Group one. We have dead pool. <laughs> Uh, we have Thor, we have Emma Frost, and then underneath we have the Scarlet Witch. A lot about using your intuition here. Um, Deadpool is like, you know what, this could be way worse than it is. I mean, I, I, it, it's not that it's not bad. There, there is something here that is kind of, um, I wouldn't say bad, but it's like, I do feel like in the near future, it does look like this person might try to distance themselves from you, um, or block you in some way. 
So that could be something that isn't really great, obviously here, but with Deadpool, what I'm getting is like, you know, all you can really do is laugh about it because it's kind of silly. Um, here, because this person, this person's very attracted to you and like, they're so attracted to you that they have to like physically like remove themselves from the situation because they just can't handle it, which is, it is kind of funny. Um, I would, uh, Spirit here wants to kind of, there's a bit of a warning here, um, with Emma Frost. Emma Frost, she deals with, um, people who are, who, who, where things aren't what they seem to be. Um, so with Thor, Thor is also about using your intuition. Um, if you're feeling confused about the situation or something isn't quite adding up, here, like, use your intuition. Like I said, it looks like this person, like, they may lie to you here, um, just to, like, make, you know, to, to get away from you, <laughs> basically, here, because they don't want to be tempted to do something here that maybe that they, they don't, that wouldn't be great here for them. So, you know, kind of be discerning about those things here. Um, yeah, because it it might seem a little off sometimes here. Um, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch uh, with the underlying energy is basically um, just kind of wait and see. Um, you know, try to, again, use your intuition and see things both you know, with your eyes, like, uh, consciously, but also subconsciously, um, here, um, uh, maybe even pay attention to things, like, in your dreams, possibly, here, um, you could, or through meditation here, um, to know, you know, when, when the timing is right, or, or what to do, like, try to maybe ask, for signs or something here um because there's something th there's a lot to hear to do with listen to your intuition listen to your gut right your instincts here um especially when something seems too good to be true like be just kind of discerning i'm not saying that you have to be suspicious all the time but just you know make sure make sure it is what it is you know what I mean? Like, make sure that this is what it is. Whatever that may be. Um, okay, why does it say 10? Why does it say 10? I don't know why it said 10. I probably hit the zero at some point. All right. Anyways, um, that's what I have for you, group one. Um, thanks for watching. Um, you can always check out the other groups. If you were feeling drawn to them, there could be messages in there for you. But if not, then that's what I've got for you today. And that's where I'll leave you. So thanks again for watching. Um, take care and good luck. All right, group two, uh, welcome to your reading. If this was the image that you were feeling drawn to, I feel like I know the, who these people are. Like they feel very familiar to me. I probably have like, they might be from a game or something, maybe. I feel like I've seen them before. So there could be something about you and your connection that feels familiar. You, maybe, maybe you have a soulmate or a past life connection um, there. There's something very familiar about this. <laughs> um, I am drawn to the X's that they're wearing, but I think that is just because of the X-Men, but... Um, it's possible that the two of you ha are exes as well. Maybe that's what's familiar about it. Um, maybe you have a past. I don't know. That's all. I'm, that's this is what I'm getting. All right. Let's see what's going on. So we're gonna find out first uh, what's going on in the connection. What's the energy uh, going there? More just to kind of check the temperature of the connection and then we will use tarot to see what your person's current energy is like towards you like how are they feeling and then we'll get some spiritual guidance for you as well okay let's 
So let's see what's going on in this connection. Group two. Ace of clubs. I couldn't tell if it was like upside down or not. Um, four of clubs. Whoa. Ace of diamonds. The other ones are face down. Eight of clubs. Queen of diamonds. Oh, okay. So many clubs. Um, there could be a lot of things going on in this connection for there to be so many clubs or there's just a lot of attraction here possibly um or just could be just a lot of action um in however <laughs> way here um let's see ace of clubs and the four of clubs here it is movement. There are th th this connection is moving forward here, and I feel something new has happened with that Ace of Clubs. There's something new, like a new perspective, um, a new idea, something along those lines. You know that that is the like let's get something going, let's get something started here type of energy with the four of clubs it's like okay we're moving and it's pretty steady movement um pretty reliable this could be in the form of communication um you could have you, you could just be communicating a lot especially um like through text or dms or um anything like electronic less like or on the internet like less it's not, it's not really communication like in person you could be communicating in person but the four of clubs is mostly um online communication uh so there could be something new about the way that you're communicating online possibly here um the ten of uh, that's not hearts. This is a ten of <laughs> diamonds. I mean, it can be, I guess. And the eight of clubs. More communicating. That's what I mean. You have so many clubs here that there's just a lot of, like, action going on here. Um, I feel like you kind of... I don't know if you share responsibilities um, or... Like it doesn't like it can be something to do with finances as well, like paying bills or something. Um, there could be something about talking about it. Maybe you're talking about sharing responsibilities, talking about paying bills. Maybe you're talking about moving in together or, or living together, because you you know you would have to talk about things like that here. There seems to be like discussing something about finances or assets in, in that way. Um, so maybe, um, it could be that, um, the queen of diamonds and the seven of clubs, something about, I don't know who the queen of diamonds is, but whoever the queen of diamonds is, she, she's, she's pretty sensible and she has resources, um, the seven of clubs is like the the job card the career card so there could be something to do with somebody getting their dream job or working towards their dream job or like working towards um doing work that they like <laughs> at the very least like you know working towards um having a job that is enjoyable 
here. Um, I, I mean, either they're working towards it or they already have it um, here. Man, like it's kind of the same, like, I wouldn't say it's a, like, it's not similar to group one. Like the energy isn't similar, but like it's similar in that what I'm seeing here in the connection, it doesn't seem bad. Like I don't see any issues here. Although I will say that I don't know what kind of connection this is. Um, although, like I do feel like you're, you've known each other for, or either you've either known each other for a while or you just feel very comfortable together. Um, to be talking about like money, discussing finances and stuff like that here. It all seems quite positive, to be honest. Like, the only thing I can see, like I said, there's a lot of action going on. So this could be quite a tiring time right now. Like, in terms of energy, maybe your energy is being drained. Maybe it's kind of stressful here because this queen of diamonds, if she's really going for her dream job or something in her career, then it could be putting some stress on this connection. And if you're also like trying to move in together or um, get a place together or buy a house even, like that can be stressful as well. And maybe there could be like a relocation going on so maybe that's why you're having to talk more um like through the internet or through texting here less in person because maybe some, oh maybe somebody got their dream job and you have to move there somebody has to relocate oh i mean that would make sense that's very specific though but i mean yeah it does seem that way somebody got like their dream job but you'd have to move for it. So now you got to talk about how, who's like, how you're going to move and the finances and, and all of that and responsibilities, who's responsible for what. And, and you would have to talk more. Yeah. Electronically. That could be new for the two of you. Perhaps you're used to being like in person a lot more than talking or texting on um, perhaps. Okay. Uh, anyways, take it as it resonates, right? Let's see. How's this person? What's their energy towards you? How are they feeling towards you in the current energy? devil in reverse <clears throat> hmm. I'm getting a bit of tempted to fall into old habits whatever those are uh, page of coins high priestess in reverse queen of wands in reverse Ooh. it could be um Controlling, wanting to control everything, being kind of bossy here, uh, even manipulative, even. Uh, the moon in reverse. Oh, we yeah, have the star. Okay. We'll clarify as we go. Let's just look here. So. How this person is feeling towards you yeah like i said um there is this feeling of temptation here maybe they feel like you're being kind of bossy um that you're being a little annoying to be i mean that's the only way i can put it um here they feel like they don't know like as much like they feel like you know you 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 know everything that's going on they're feeling kind of in the dark here um this person is feeling like a little inadequate i guess like in terms of knowledge and information it's like they don't really know what's going on in terms of like 
like it, I'll put it this way like if you're the one that is dealing with a lot it's like you have most of the information and they're relying on you to relay that information to them and they kind of feel like you're taking the lead here and taking control but they kind of feel like maybe you're doing that a little too much um that you're being a little too controlling um a little too bossy here um they kind of pretend like they don't care about that like they're gonna see okay i it kind of feels nice in that because with the star here this feels like it's more about whoever this queen of diamonds is it's like okay if if the queen of diamonds is you then they're kind of like you know i'm going to stay quiet here i'm going to keep my mouth shut because this is your dream this is what you want and you know i'm i'm going to follow you on that dream i'm going to help you with that here so yeah i, I mean it's a, this seems very specific i'm not even gonna lie um but yeah i'm getting somebody here who um is kind of acting like Like, act, like, they might act like they know what's going on when they kind of don't. Because the Page of Coins doesn't really know what the fuck's going on. Um, like, they, they, they're they kind of inexperienced. So they might pretend like they know what's going on um, about things when they don't. They might pretend like things don't bother them when they really do here. I'm, yeah. Actually, tell me more about this High Priestess. We have the world. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't, it's not like malicious in how they're acting. Yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. It's like they're just keeping their mouth shut um, here because they want to get this done almost. It's like whatever it is that, that's going on in this connection, like I just want to get this done. So they're going to keep their mouth shut. Um, tell me about the devil. Ten of cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that would cause some problems in the relationship here. Um, it could have been a problem in this relationship at some point. Um, this whatever old habits. I don't know what it is. Oh, there could have oh, it could have even caused a breakup or a separation between the two of you. So they're really trying to hold back from falling into this devil energy. I don't know what it is. It, there's something about them that some sort of toxic behavior. Maybe they lose their temper or something. I don't know what it is, but there's something about their behavior that they're really trying to rein in because they know that it it could cause problems or it has caused problems in this connection before and it could have caused a separation um before so they're really trying like not to let that happen here so they they they're really feeling tempted here but i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing them give in to the temptation tell me about the queen of wands it could be that it, it could be that they're the controlling one that the, you know that they are the manipulative one here and they're trying not to um there's that six of cups that soulmate energy the chariot yeah it's something from the past um that i feel like they're just trying to move past the past the past that they're trying to move past here so they're feeling it but i'm not seeing it take over um but they are kind of in the dark here tell me about the moon the hermit yeah they're kind of feeling a little alone here ten of wands and it's kind of overwhelming them um 
because like it's like they they might feel like you know everything but they don't and they're kind of feeling alone in that here it's a yeah tell me about star Eight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't feel like their dream. This feels like your dream or whoever the Queen of Diamonds is. Whoever the Queen of Diamonds is, it's their dream and they're almost feeling like backed into a corner. Yeah. Like they have to go along with everything like they feel restricted in what they can do and what they can't do um here uh we have the seven of swords in reverse they kind of feel like they gotta follow whatever you know whoever's dream this is they just kind of gotta follow orders i kind of get that here Six of Swords, Fool in Reverse. <laughs> I'm getting like, I don't care how we get there as long as we get there. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. All right, let's see where is this going then? Where is this energy heading? They don't care how we get there as long as we get there. Where is this energy heading in the near future? Knight of Coins, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse, Three of Wands and justice in reverse yeah i am getting that this person is starting to like there is a vibe here of somebody feeling like something's not fair um or at the very least like it's uh there's a like a power struggle here like it's in balance like one person knows more than the other person here so that's the underlying energy here i feel like that's how this person's feeling where this energy's heading um i do get stress here i do feel somebody is they this is you know they think about this a lot it stresses them out um i do see like i i don't think that they're gonna do anything about it though um because, see, the king, the king, oh, I mean, yeah, but the knight of coins is like, they just want to take things slow here, and they're going to take things one step at a time, but they're also very, like, the knight, out of all the knights, like, that is a knight that you can trust, and so it's like, okay, you know, I'm going to do what I have to do here, um, but they may be losing motivation here because of the stress so like if this person might not like seem like they are in the mood for things here or they're feeling like yeah like, I'm just getting somebody whose libido is pretty down. <laughs> somebody who's not, like, really, really feeling it right now because they're so stressed. Um, I feel like this person's just waiting to find out things, waiting for the truth, waiting perhaps for you to tell them the truth here in this situation because I don't see them doing anything 
they're just waiting. They're just waiting to see what happens. Um, not in like, they're just kind of waiting on you. It kind of feels like they feel like it's all up to you. Ball is in your car court. It's like you are calling the shots here. And I get with this knight, it's like, I'm just waiting here. You tell me what to do. And, you know, I'm just waiting for orders. That's what I get. Somebody who's just waiting for orders. Although, they are stressed out. Um, they're, 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 like, mentally stressed out. Um, because they don't know what's going on. And they have to wait for you to tell them. That's what it feels like. So they can't do anything until you let them know what to do. Okay. Let's see. Um, spiritual guidance for you, group two. Yeah, I get Aunt May here, which is a very caring, nurturing, supportive energy. Um, it's basically like, be kind to them here. Um, uh, you may need to be a little bit extra comforting, a little bit extra supportive to, to them. You know, they could use a hug perhaps here. Um, maybe they just need some extra reassurance from you. Okay. We have Valkyrie. Yeah, also know that you can't do everything, right? You can't be, you know that you can't be everywhere at once. You have your limits here. You can only do what you can do. You're just one person. There's only so much time in the day here. Um, realize that, and that's okay. You know, that's also okay. Um, because you could be tired too. I mean, they're tired, and I know it's like, well, I'm tired too. And it's like, yeah, it's okay. You know, um, I feel also Valkyrie is about having. You have the strength, the emotional and mental strength um, to keep going, um, to keep fighting as well. You have all of that within you um, there. So this is kind of spirit's little push for you, you know, to kind of don't give up, keep going. It's that type of energy. And we've got Iron Man. It says, what are you really protecting? Oh, and then we have Nightcrawler. That's nice. Underneath. Uh, Iron Man is, um, it is a little bit of try not to be, like, ain't too proud to beg kind of thing. Like, try not to get to be too proud. Um, try not to, I guess, it, it's, it's about, like, sharing your feelings. You know, try not to keep it inside is what I'm trying to say here. Um. You know, try not to maybe isolate how you're feeling um, away from others. Um, maybe even this person. Maybe this person doesn't know what you're going through. Um, maybe you both haven't really shared that with each other. Because I see like a lot of communication and talking, but it seems to be more along the lines of about what's going on in your, in your life and less about like sharing how you're feeling um so iron man can be a bit of a warning of you know avoiding keeping things to yourself also about avoiding um situations that you can't control or uh, avoiding having difficult conversations here you know iron man warns you about you can be your own worst enemy. You know, you can hold yourself back here. 
um, yeah, it's, you know, it's about, it is really the ain't too proud to beg energy here. You know, sometimes you got to be a little vulnerable, you know, get underneath all that armor. Um, Nightcrawler, the underlying energy is, it says in my eyes, I am beautiful. Nightcrawler, it's basically like, you know, you're amazing. Basically, that's what Nightcrawler is. And Spirit Ear is reminding you, like, you, you're amazing in what you're doing and who you are. And don't let, don't forget that, basically. And don't let that stop you. Um, I like Nightcrawler. It's a nice, it's a nice card when it shows up. It just makes you feel better. Um, but yeah. So that's what I have for you, group two. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, you can always check out the other groups if you're feeling drawn to any of those images. If not, then this is where I leave you. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, take care and good luck. All right, group three, welcome to your reading. If this was the image that you were feeling drawn to. Um, when I saw this image. I don't know who they are. I'm pretty sure they're twins or they're siblings. Um, I don't know. I was just very drawn to, it just, I just felt happy. Like I got some sort of a happy vibe. Um, it's hard to explain. It's not like joy. It's not like pure joy, but there's something very like comfortable about it very comfortable and like I I feel like these two get along really well like there's just something about it that the two of them I feel are like on the same page on certain things like like when they talk like they have inside jokes that's it it's like they got inside jokes with each other like they have like their own secret language or something like that's what I'm getting from it because I was trying to pinpoint I'm like what is it it's like it's happiness but it's like yeah it's more than that okay anyways sorry that's all I've got there so let's get started so first we're just going to take like sort of a temperature check here of your connection with your person and we'll just see what's going on energetically there And then we'll use tarot to see your person's energy towards you. How are they feeling towards you? And then we'll get some spiritual guidance for you as well. It's the Ace of Diamonds. Seven of Clubs. The Queen. Okay. Okay. I've only, like, okay, you're group three, right? But I'm telling you now, these are the same energies that keep popping up. Like, we all know there's 52 cards in the deck. <laughs> How is it that I only pull six cards? How is it that the same ones keep... I shuffled them. Like, I'm shuffling them. I don't, I don't understand this. I really don't. Are you fucking kidding me? It's the same cards. Just in different ways. The Eight of Hearts. What's next? What's going to come out next? Uh, okay, it could be like the Two of Clubs or... Okay. The Four of Spades. I think that came out. Did it? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. King of Hearts. Jeez. Okay. I'm just... I don't know. If you feel drawn to any of the first two readings, you know, there could be messages in there for you. That's all I gotta say because just very similar energies coming out. Just kind of in slightly different ways. Um, okay. Uh, what's going on here? Ace of Diamonds, Seven of Clubs. Hmm. Somebody get a new job? Somebody might have got a new job, um, or a new opportunity to get a new job or like a new gig or something, new contract, um, could be an invitation that has something to do with work, like a invite 
to some sort of work event, perhaps. Um, yeah. Okay, I don't know what that really... Okay, fine. <laughs> queen of Diamonds and the Eight of Hearts. Whoever this Queen of Diamonds is, I, I, I feel there's a strong possibility that the two of you may be married. Um, or have been married, um, here. Queen of Diamonds can be that partner card, partner energy here. Eight of Hearts is an existing relationship. Um, whether you're married or not, I feel you have quite a close connection. Or somebody has a close connection with this Queen of Diamonds. I don't know who this Queen of Diamonds is, but somebody's got a close connection with them. Um, the Four of Spades and the King of Hearts. Um, I mean, the Four of Spades usually is needing to take a break. Um, it could be somebody, it could be health related. Um, it could be like, it could be taking a break for health related reasons. Usually like more on the mental side, like mental health. Um, that could be what's going on with the the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts um, can be somebody who tries to numb their feelings with substances. So this could be something to do with substance abuse, somebody who, especially who drinks too much. Um, so it could be somebody going to rehab. That's very specific. Um, or this could just be somebody here who, um, it just needs to take a break. I feel like it could be work related. Like, um, like a burnout. I'm just because I'm, I'm drawn to, like, it's Cyclops and it's Beam. Um, the King of Hearts is somebody who can be quite sensitive, um, is masculine energy. Uh, somebody who tries not to get in the middle of things, like, they're kind of non-confrontational. Um, they don't really like to start fights or anything very um diplomatic pacifist type of vibes here um so something could have been a little too much for them and they had to like step away like it could have been too much emotionally for them perhaps maybe it's the connection and they had to like take a step back uh interesting like i know the queen of diamonds and the king of hearts as much as like they're not divine couples i do see them a lot of times as like married like a married couple it's more like i see them more than like the king of diamonds because the king of diamonds i feel was more focused on his business and being like successful where um, the King of Hearts is more of like a family man type of energy. Um, and the Queen of Diamonds is more of like a mother type of energy. Like, it's just energy. It's just feminine, masculine energy. It doesn't have anything to do with gender. Um, I'm just saying that there seems to be a strong energy here that, um, that you could be married or you've been together for a while. Obviously... I mean, if that's not your story, then, you know, don't apply it. Um, this, maybe this reading isn't specifically for you, like, but there could still be messages in here for you. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting there. I'm not really seeing, like, well, I mean, I guess the Four of Spades is a bit of a problem. Um, if that King of Hearts is currently, I wouldn't say they're MIA, I, I feel like, if you know who the King of Hearts is, then you know why, um, probably why they're taking a break. Or you can make an educated guess that it has something to do, like, with rehab or something to do with some sort of mental, con like, 
health condition that they issue that they have or like I feel you would know like like maybe you don't know exactly what's going on but you could kind of figure it out just because I feel you've probably known this person for some time or if you haven't then you're you're like you know a lot about each other like you're quite close here um okay I don't know who's got the the job here but somebody um Somebody has, it doesn't have to be a job. It's just something that somebody's putting a lot of um, energy into, a lot of work into. Um, like, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. It, I mean, it could be a new project. A new, like, that's why it feels like a job. <laughs> um, anyways, let's see how this person is feeling towards you. What is their energy towards you towards group three how are they feeling Five of Wands in reverse. I have like an itch like on my nose. I have to keep stopping to scratch it. I don't know if she's freaking out because of that. Five of Coins in reverse. world hmm empress in reverse the hermit yeah okay you do want to come out Two of Wands was kind of stuck in there. Okay. So we'll just start with this. Okay. So this person is conflicted here um, internally. They're like fighting with themselves here. Um, they could be feeling neglected or they could be feeling like you don't care. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems that's what they're fighting with themselves with. So I don't even know if they know if that's true or not, um, at least here. It's like they're, it's, uh, they could be fighting like within their heart about how they feel about you. It can be that as well. Um, I'm not saying that they don't care about you, but it seems like they may have some mommy issues here um, that they're dealing with. And your connection, your is, they're having some conflict <laughs> over it. <laughs> There's just a little, yeah, there's a bit going on here. Um, uh, yeah, this person does feel like they need some time to think here. Um, yeah, they feel like they need some time to think. Uh, they could be feeling like, you know, they're not completely away. Like, I don't feel like, like, if this person isn't really talking to you, like, it's not like, like, it could just be not talking as much. Because I feel like they don't want to completely, like, leave, I guess you could say. They're just, they just have some things to think about.
The world is interesting because there's something here that they feel is done. Like, they feel like there is something that they've accomplished here in this connection. Um, I'm not sure how you feel about that, though. Because I'm getting, like, the Two of Wands isn't normally, like, contradicting, but it does feel contradictory. Because they, they're kind of crossing here. Um... It can be that they feel like if there was something that they were struggling with um, about making a decision about, then they could have like finally figured that out. Or feeling like, yeah, feeling, yeah, they could have figured that out. Um, I don't really know what that is. Okay, we're gonna have to like clarify some of this because I don't know what they're talking I don't know what this is talking about. It's not gonna give me specifics, but find out a little more eight of coins in reverse whatever this is here um it's something that wasn't working out it wasn't working out for them could be somebody it wasn't talking to them Knight of Swords. I feel like they spoke up about it. That could have helped them to. Okay, so this, so they're feeling um, closure here on something that maybe wasn't decided, and it wasn't working out, and they spoke up about it. And, you know, they're feeling better. They're feeling better that they spoke up about something that wasn't working out. Um, here. Yeah. The Fool in Reverse. Um, it could be something that um, wasn't starting or couldn't start for some reason. Um, here. Or something that somebody refused to start here. Something to do with commitment or even marriage or something along those lines. Um, some Something that is like standard, normal. Okay. Um... This Empress. What is this Empress about? Yeah, it seems like there's some sort of mommy issues or some sort of family issues going on. So they're feeling conflicted internally about it. Like they just, there, there's some sort of family problem. Um... Okay, so that's the Four of Swords. That could be why they're taking this break here with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, okay, so they're doing something for themselves here. You know, I need to take a break here. There's some sort of family issue here or um, something that they're just not super comfortable with here. Um, they could be feeling like somebody doesn't care or they feel I guess yeah or they're not sure how they feel there's something about this empress I don't know who the empress is like I don't know because it, it that would be too specific okay well whoever this empress is is not talking to this person um right now they've cut them out of their life almost here so yeah, this is a problem for them right now, and they're trying to deal with it here. And I feel like that is what they're thinking about. Like, they need to take a step back. They need to think about things here. Um, it seems temporary. 
I mean, this whole silence, everything here just seems temporary. It doesn't feel permanent. It's just this person needs some time to think about things, to figure some things out. Uh, they figured some things out, um, but there's all this other stuff that they're figuring out as well. This person, I feel, has issues. <laughs> there's some issues going on here. Let's see, where's this energy heading? In the near future. Where is this energy heading? The world. Ten. Oh, this is nice. Ten of Wands, Star in Reverse, The Fool. It's nice to have the world and the fool there. Seven of Wands in Reverse. And death in reverse. Huh. Okay. Mm. Mm. Death in reverse kind of bothers me because it feels like overall um, this person is not changing. Um, they're not letting go of something that they need to let go of. Like they have to let go of something here. Yeah, it's not, it's not, they're avoiding it. Ooh. Yeah, it's causing, like, discourse here in your connection. Like, it's causing um, the two of you to maybe bicker, maybe fight here. Um, because they're unwilling to let something go that they need to let go of. It's really costing them their happiness here. I don't know what it is. It kind of feels like it's some sort of substance abuse, though. So this person probably needs professional help, if that is the case. Um, I don't know. I'm not diagnosing. But it just, because with that, that king of hearts, I don't know. It just feels something along those lines. Whereas this person has some sort of issues. But whatever their issues are, I'm getting that they probably need some professional help. Um, but... I, again, I'm not diagnosing. I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor or anything like that. I'm just reading the energy. Um, I feel like this person is at like their, the, the whatever, their wits end, their, the end of the rope here. Um, when it comes to all the, the problems, all the issues, all the pressure on them here, there is closure here to one chapter in their life and making room for a new chapter to begin here um but this person's quite defensive here and that defensiveness that guard that they put up um may hinder their success and it feels like that has to do with this death in reverse as well. Like this refusing to let something go that they need to let go of. Death is like, when death shows up, there is something that has to end. It's whether or not you accept that something has ended or not. And this person, they're not accepting that. They're not accepting that they need to let something go. Something is over and keeping it is not helping them. And that's what's going on here. They need to let it go. I don't know what it is, but they need to let it go. It's affecting their happiness and it's affecting this connection. So let's see for you, group three. Spiritual guidance. We have Thor, be sure of foot and steady of heart. Yeah, Thor is all about um, listening to your intuition, listening to your instincts, um, especially when you're in the dark. When you're in the dark and you're confused, you don't know where to go, um, your intuition will light the way, in a sense. That's with the Mjolnir and all that. It's like you you know within you the answers 
Okay. We have Valkyrie. Oh, it's the same. Basically, Valkyrie is like, don't give up. Um, it says you can because you must. Valkyrie is um, looking at yourself and seeing how strong you are both emotionally and mentally and that you can keep going, that you have the inner strength within you. Um, you know, maybe you don't think you're capable of doing something. It's that energy of when you don't think you can do something, but then you look within you and you find, you know, this inner strength that you've forgotten that you had. And it gives you that sort of boost of energy to move forward here. Okay. You know, spiritual guidance here seems to be all about that you have the answers. You have the tools within you. Um, to figure out what it is that you need to do here. Oh, yeah, the Black Panther. Same. Oh, my gosh, Storm. It's all, all the empowering energy here. This is all nice. This is, this is nice spiritual guidance for you. Um... Because the Black Panther, you know, he is the king. It says, uh, wear the crown with honor. It's the same, it's it's basically the same thing that I've been saying. Um, act like a king, you know. Be the person, be the provider, be the person, you know, he, the Black Panther, he, his people look up to him. They look up to him to provide for them, to be that person that they can rely on, that you know, um, somebody who's stable, somebody who's trustworthy. And that is what I'm getting here. You know, this is somebody that is strong and they're, and I'm getting with all this energy. It's like, it's, you have, you have, you're strong because you have to be, but you're also a very strong person, like emotionally, mentally, um, even spiritually that you have a strong intuition here. Um, that you, you, you know, you can do this, um, especially when you don't know what to do and when things seem difficult. Uh, storm, the underlying and underlying energy is, um, it's about completion, accomplishment. It's about being near um, completion of some sort of major goal, um, that, you know, that it's close, that, um, that sort of success is close here and that you, yeah, it's like overcoming, overcoming, um, obstacles and having, it, it's very much about having Again, the abilities, the tools, the skill to reach that. It's like you wouldn't be this close to accomplishing this goal if you didn't have the resources, if you didn't have the ability. And you have because you've worked hard to gain these skills, to be like who you are, whether it's through, you know, experience, um, or through learning or whatever, wherever it came from. So um, that's the spiritual guidance here for you. Okay, so that's what I have for you, group three. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, you can always check out the other groups if you're feeling drawn to those images. If not, you know, that's okay. Um, this is where I will leave you here. So thanks again for watching. Um, take care and good luck. Okay, group four. Um, welcome to your reading if this was the image that you were feeling drawn to. Um, all I get is just in sync. I don't know. That's all I get is just two people in sync. I think that they're twins. I think actually a lot of them, the images are twins. Um, there could be a codependent 
type of vibe, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna get into the reading. <laughs> okay, there we are. There I am. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what the energy is like in your connection with this person. First, we'll just kind of take like a little temperature, um, just see what's going on, and then we'll use tarot to see what your person's energy is like towards you. What are they feeling? Then we'll get some spiritual guidance. All right, let's see what's going on. King of Diamonds. Jack of Clubs. Okay. Ten of Diamonds. Jack of Hearts. Whoa, what is this? Why are there so many people? That always concerns me when I see that many people. Four of clubs and the four of spades. Um, okay. Okay, first this king of diamonds. Um, and the jack of clubs. Uh, usually for me when there's a jack next to a uh, court card, like a king or a queen, um, usually it's somebody from the past, uh, Jack of Clubs could be a, a friend, um, past friend, uh, this King of Diamonds is somebody who has their shit together. I'm getting, like, a glow up. I feel like this person, when they were, like, younger, they, maybe they were a bit of a player, um very social if you know what i mean um how oh, yeah very active lifestyle um could have been kind of um unreliable somebody that you know is just there and then they're not and they're there and they're not um i feel like that was their past but i feel this person has grown up king of diamonds taking responsibility um uh more stable um i guess more reliable um somebody here who is more mature um more focused on you know their their life you know providing a, a good life for themselves for their family if they have a family um it's that type of vibe here but with the ten of diamonds and the jack of hearts that the jack of hearts um feels like, you know, those dreams that you had when you were younger. Um, there seems to be... How would I put this? There's some sort of success tied to that so it's almost like this person wouldn't be the person that they are today if it wasn't for who they used to be um here so like they had to be that type of person in order to be who they are right now in order to be successful here it's it is kind of like learning from their past, but there's a very, there's, there's an emphasis on who they used to be, like their actions, like their behavior. Um, yeah, I do feel that 
They were given free passes a lot of times. The Jack of Hearts can be, uh, we call like the golden child where it's like they can do no wrong here. Um, that's why it does. It comes off as this person used to be a player, or like the little fuck boy, fuck girl type of vibe here. Um, but they wouldn't be who they are without that. Um, four of clubs and the four of spades. Hmm. Has this person gone quiet? I feel like this person has... Have they ghosted you? Four clubs is like communication, like online communication. And the four of spades can be somebody who's gone quiet. Um, somebody who's taken a time out, gone MIA here. So they may have ghosted you or you've ghosted them. It feels more like them ghosting you. Hmm. What did I say about this? I have to look at the picture again. Ah, yeah, okay. All right, let's see what their energy's like towards you. I don't know, take it as it resonates, obviously. There could be like several messages in there like that are all different, like you might only have one resonate with one. Let's see. What is this person's energy towards group four? How are they feeling about group four right now and the current energy? Okay. Knight of coins. Six of swords. Mm, okay. <clears throat> mm hmm. I mean, I'm getting somebody who kind of ran away. Ran away from commitment. Scared of commitment, almost. Like, even here, like, look at him. I know this is the Knight of Coins, but, like, he seems scared, doesn't he? <laughs> he seems to be running a little scared there. Okay. Mm Afraid of commitment, possibly. What else? Queen of Wands in reverse. Page of Coins. Hmm. The star. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, I still get that. This person... This person felt like they needed to run away. They needed to put some distance here between you and them because I don't know why, but there is a non-committal energy here. Now the thing is, I get somebody who was intimidated. Intimidated by what? Uh, the Empress. The Empress can be quite intimidating because she represents love, support, nurturing. Like she is the big crush, right? It's like, ooh, the Empress. She's the real deal. She's quite intimidating if you are just a page. What do I say? What do I say to the Empress? I don't want to fuck this up. I don't want her to get mad at me. So it's like this person feels like they needed to take things slow. 
They feel like they need to take things one step at a time. They need to slow down here. Um, they're being very careful because they don't want to upset you. When I say upset you, they don't want to piss you off. See, yeah, this person's got a past, right? They have a past of this player energy and I feel this person's being very careful because they're because I get here, they're like, that's not who I am anymore. Like I get strongly that this is not who that person is anymore. They're they're way past that. They're way past that now, but they still have that past, that history here. And it's like they're being very careful about what they do here because they feel like they need to. Otherwise, you're going to get pissed off. Um, there is an intimidation factor here. You know why? Because with the star here, you, you know, you're something that they, you're a goal. Like there's some sort of goal that they have here with you. You know, the wish. I mean, the star is all about, you know, we have the mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? I mean, this is what, um, you know, they're, oh, whatever, her, the, the evil witch, like, a queen, whatever, whatever she's called. <laughs> you know, she had wishes and dreams here. Um, I don't know what this, I'm gonna, I need to clarify. I don't know wh where this Hierophant, this non-committal energy is coming from. Just clarify the Hierophant. Where's this coming from? The chariot in reverse. They're not ready? We have the eight of cups. Page energy, page of swords, ace of cups. Uh, I don't like that. This non committal energy, um, it's like somebody doesn't know what it is that they want, they don't know which path that it is that they want to go down. Um, they haven't gotten, they haven't let go of, like, I mean, it is non-committed. It's like somebody who doesn't want to settle down because they, like, they, they, they haven't let go of this sort of chaotic sort of lifestyle. I can put it that way. Um, here, they, again, page energy, it's immature energy here. Um, they're not very good at communicating this here. Um, especially when they have feelings. When they have feelings, they're, they kind of suck at communicating this. <laughs> um, yeah. Tell me about the star. Huh. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have the Sun. They're overthinking this. They're overthinking, you know, like, you know, people who, who think too much about feelings, like, they think too much about something that they want to the point it's like just do it if that's what you want to do then just do it and that's kind of what i'm getting here it's like this person it's like they have a wish they have a dream here that you know but they're kind of stopping themselves from doing it here from being happy it's like well why don't you just do it yeah just do it the opportunity's here just do it you know what you know what this feels like 
this feels like um somebody who it's like why don't you like somebody who's non-committal and won't like um be in a committed relationship so then it's kind of like well why don't you want to be in a relationship and they can't really give you a straight answer and but it's like but they want it like they want to be happy and they want to have like that person you know to be in a relationship with but for some reason they keep running away and it's like why don't you just try it why don't you just try it and like what do you have to lose because if you run away then you don't get the relationship obviously then but why don't if you just stick around and just try it then you know it might go well or it might not but if it doesn't go well well how is that any different than you running away you still don't get the relationship so why don't you try it and maybe it might work out that's what i'm getting here i'm getting somebody here it's like they don't they won't even try it like they won't even try to be happy like they're just getting in their own way they're just getting into their head here it's like if this is something that you want then why run away then why like just, just try it you have the opportunity here the opportunity is here there's an offer here but yet okay you're gonna run away okay okay um page of coins tell me more about this page of coins <laughs> all the pages coming out i was gonna say i have a sneaking suspicion that this person has not had a lot of experience when it comes to situations like this yeah page of wands we have the page of coins, page of wands, page of swords. Um, don't have the page of cups yet. We have the high priestess in reverse. Um, yeah, this person like they act. They may act tough here. I won't even say tough. Like uh, they're just kind of acting dumb here. This. This person isn't actually unreliable. That's the thing here. I don't think that they are. They're this king of diamonds. They actually are quite mature. But they don't have a lot of experience, I feel, in this situation. So that's why they run away. But it's like, they have the ability to be logical. To be, you know, um, rational here. But they're not they would just they just revert to this immature energy and just run away tell me about this queen of wands i'm not i'm not quite sure why like okay what is this about okay thanks i get it it's you what what else is here King of Swords in reverse, Justice in reverse, King of Wands. Because this is like them. They're taking things slow because like they don't want to piss you off. Oh my, we'll piss off who? Well, the Empress. The, they're the person, you, who they put on a pedestal or whatever you want to call it. Like they have a big crush on. Why? Because they feel like they might make a stupid ass decision here. <laughs> uh, they're just thinking too much they think too much they're thinking they might make a, mis a, mis a mistake here that they have to fix something here you know there's this arrogance here that this is what they think you're going to get pissed off about that you're going to get pissed off about what it is that they want because maybe it's not what you want and that's what they're overthinking hmm. okay <sighs> tell me more about this knight of coins Just one card, yeah, okay. Three of coins, six of cups in reverse, the moon in reverse. Well, 
What happened here? This has something to do with a memory, a bad memory from their past. Um, it could be with friends or just third energies, other people outside of the connection. I mean, that would be their friends or just other yeah, energies outside of the connection. They have some sort of bad memory here. It, it does feel like it was quite upsetting for this person with the moon in reverse. Like it was, um, but it does feel like they worry about this. There's a lot of anxiety behind this as well because, you know, yeah, because they don't, it's just, this, this is why they're taking things slow. They have, there's something that happened in their past with a third energy, with a, perhaps a third party here that worries them. Tell me more about this. Yeah. Okay. It was a past relationship. Oh, a past relationship where they opened up and they were vulnerable. Uh-huh. Temperance. Oh, I see. So they thought everything was going fine and they were just going with the flow here and then they, and then barren, barren, nothing, nothing. There, there actually was nothing there. They didn't see the warning signs. And then I feel like this person walked away. Whoever this, they were in a connection with, they walked away. Somebody walked away, left them there. They didn't see the warning signs. Um, they thought things were going good, but actually there was nothing. Uh, so they, I guess they have trust issues. That's what that's looking like to me. Trust issues from past relationships or relationship. Okay, let's see, where's this energy heading in the near future? want to like thanks <laughs> five of coins queen of cups six of wands seven of cups in reverse eight of wands in reverse and the ace of coins oh um hmm okay so overall there seems to be an opportunity here to start from scratch, to start over, to start from the beginning, a reset. <laughs> um, I don't know if this person is coming back or not. I can't tell because that eight of wands in reverse, I'm like, okay, but hmm. They, they might, they might, it's up to them. You know, everyone's got free will. It is up to them, but it does seem this energy, if somebody uses their intuitions, if somebody feels their feelings, that's them. You know, if they, if they have feelings here for you and if they feel, you know, if they use that here and want to, um, yeah, offer those feelings to you, then there could be victory here. There, this could be successful here. Um, if they feel like they have no other choice, if they have no other choice but to offer you some sort of feelings, emotions here, like being vulnerable, basically, um, there could be victory here, although it might take a while. There's this delayed energy 
here. It might take a while before that victory comes in. So there's a lot of slow energy here as well. So I mean, it's also up to you if you want to. I wouldn't wait for anything. Like I wouldn't wait for any energy. You know, just kind of live your life here. But I don't know. I kind of wouldn't hold my breath for this. <laughs> um, because it seems very slow. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what spiritual guidance um for you, group four the spiritual guidance here. Um, Shuri. Ooh, Shuri. Um, Shuri's all about making head over heart decisions. Um, she's all about, it says here, if something's broken, make it better. Um, you know, Shuri, she's a very playful, um, very fun, uh, loving character. Uh, but when it comes to it, if she needs to, um, you know, find a, f a solution to a problem and not involve her emotions in it, then she will, you know, cause she's very smart and she will sometimes prioritize logic and reason over any sort of emotional bias here. So, um, spiritual guidance here, um, seems to be pointing towards, uh, perhaps think more logically and less um, involving your emotions when it comes to finding solutions here. We have Dr. Strange. It says, intention is the gateway to glory. Um, Dr. Strange is all about manifesting, manifestation here, uh, using, um, spirituality, asking the universe for uh, guidance and answers here, um, but also when you're manifesting to make sure that you're manifesting with uh, good intentions here, you know, the good for, you know, yourself and for others here. So there's just a little bit of a reminder of that. Uh, you probably, like, you can't, I, I'm sure you've heard, like, you can't manifest a specific person to come towards you and to love you or whatever. Like, that's not how it works because people have free will. But what you can manifest is somebody, um, that can, that, that may fit that role. You know what I mean? It might be this person or it might be somebody else. Um, but you can't manifest people to do things that are against their free will. And that seems to be, uh, a reminder there for you. Oh, well, and we have Jubilee. Uh, it says, be bright, be fearless, even in the dark. Um, basically it's stay positive with Aunt May underneath. Um, Jubilee is all about um, looking on the bright side, that silver lining here, um, especially when things kind of aren't looking like they're going to go your way or feeling down or feeling lost here. Like just try to stay positive and um, face your fears and move forward here um, with that outlook, with that mindset here. Um, that, you know, you can overcome anything with a positive mindset. That's basically what that is. Um, underneath we have Aunt May, which is all about, uh, being, you know, supportive and, and, um, loving and nurturing and all of those nice cozy type of feelings but I feel like this is more towards yourself you know love yourself 
here. Um, you know, maybe try to uh, do things that make you feel good, make you feel safe and comforting. Uh, those cozy things here. Um, whatever that is to you. Uh, whatever home is to you. Because it says home is never too far away. Uh, whatever makes you feel at home. That makes you feel safe and secure. Um, it, it does feel more about like self-love there um, overall. Alright. Okay, group four. That's what I have for you today. Um, if you are feeling drawn to any of the other images, uh, there could be messages in there for you. Um, but if not, that's okay. Don't have to be. Um, that's what I've got for you today. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, take care and good luck.